And then once you do your fast travel, then you can hop on your chocobo. Right. Nice. Love it. Okay. So that. And then can I, like, specifically set... I can drop a pin. Yeah, that makes it a little easier. Yeah, so this is the Fire Fantasy 13 thing, uh, where you can use your chocobo to dig up... Um, Pressure. Um. Oh, I see. That's how it works. Okay. This one I only did in the September preview, so I don't remember. I don't know if you get like a prompt. There you go, okay. What type of things are we finding? Five beast bones, okay, that's a lot. We had to get like the rank three timing to do that on the chocobo race, so that's pretty good. already there's just a ton of things for us to do can you jump off the end there no can't do stuff like that that's a bit too ambitious I think I will say that um, thank god you can pick those up by the way while you're on the back of a chocobo that would have been very annoying if you couldn't but I think 13 system um, with the like the exclamation mark and then you it gets quicker the closer you get something like that I do think that was better although how do I dismount that's how okay let's use Tifa here I'll take off Actually, let's just do this one so that we can get what we need. Efficiency bonus gained. Tifa excels at close range combat and uses quick combos to deal damage. Umbrella strength and temporary enhancer, unique ability. Yep. So at least for now, I'm definitely going to just focus on these so I can get the proficiencies as soon as possible. You're done. Keep it up. I can go. Moving on then. There we go. We've got some SP as well, and it seems like even the party members that are not fighting also gain SP, which is nice. So level ups and SPs. Excellent. So I think for now, that's going to be the strategy. Let's just get all of the cards on the table uh, by unlocking as many of these as we can. And then we will decide which ones we want to do. The Choco stop there. I think those have to be, like, activated. I need to double check. Also, can I continue going up here? Yeah, I can. I was going to say, there must be a reason why they're letting you do that. There you go. Yeah, I could see myself, like, losing a lot of time here, just wandering around, doing all kinds of stuff. And yes, I already saw the Choco stop, but in case you didn't, these guys will lead you to them. Uh, 
Um, if I don't use one, does that count as I've still like activated the place? Is that okay now? It says locked. Do I have to interact with the bird or... I think I have to use a cushion, perhaps. Let's try it. It showed a lock sign on it, so maybe that's it. <laughs> the way it sleeps as well, that's so cute. Still shows a lock on it. Oh, sorry, I remember now. I had to do this thing. Now it's back. Now, he's got his weapon proficiency now. Go back to the Buster Sword, get proficient in that. Aerith needs a little more work. She needs to conjure one more Arcane Ward, and then we'll be there. Keeper speed is still just insane. I love it. She should be relatively easy to gain efficiency for. Because she can charge the ATB so fast. Okay. So that's that tower. Um, is there any others nearby? Right, this is the goal here. All the way to the swamp lands. Okay. So I think I will go for this one next. It's also uncharted territory. Chloe's request. Flowers from the hill. Ah, that's smart. I like that. That's really good. That's efficient stuff. I like that. So let me... The pin was removed, right? Yeah. Obviously along the way I'm sure we'll bump into some more stuff. But for now... I'm mostly focused on those towers. So yeah, I guess it does seem like it's going to be that kind of playthrough where there are going to be more sections where you do just spend time exploring and engaging with the, this type of material. The story progression is definitely not going to be at the same type of pacing that it was for... Uh, that it was for Remake. Can I destroy these boxes? No. What is this? Oh, uh, I know what this is. This is the Moogle Forest. There we go. Pop inside a mushroom-shaped mog stall to get a peek at the lives of the fantastical creatures who dwell therein. Let's do that. So this is world intel here. sure when we will be. 
Those Mooglets are refusing to come back, and we can't do business without them, Kubo. Actually, maybe you wouldn't mind helping? The Mooglets are having too much fun to come back on their own, so I want you to round them up. And then we can open up the Emporium, and everyone will be happy, Kubo! Uh, fine. I'll see what I can do. Thanks so much, Kubo! I mean, it seems like everyone already is happy. If they're already having too much fun, I kind of feel bad to basically <laughs> rain them all in. Right, chase the Mooglets around the field to lure them back into their mock store or catch them and escort them there yourself. Just beware their playful little tricks. Get hit three times and the game will end, Kubo. Is there a timer on this? There isn't, okay. It's gonna take me a little bit of time to just understand what I'm working with here. Right, okay, so that's the first one done. I still haven't understood how you actually catch them, but we'll make do. Two. At least this first time around doesn't seem too bad. I've been hit once, but that's it. Come on, you little shit. There you go. Okay, there's one more left. Mischief level one, apparently Thanks this so is. Much. But hey, this is all world intel. Thanks so much, Kubo! Now we can finally open the Emporium! Here you can exchange Moogle medals mm -hmm. for cool stuff we found lying around. Everything's great, I promise! Nice. Returning all the Mooglets to the Mog store will grant access to a new shop. Helping more importance will increase the Moogle's merchant rank. Yep. All right. We get ethers, HP up materialing. Interesting. That's kind of significant, though. Ah, the art of sword blade. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we kind of need those too. And SP. Just so you know, there are six more mog stools out there, Koopo. So be sure to say hi to my friends if you find one. Also, the more emporiums we open up, the more stuff we'll have for you to buy. That's a win-win situation in my books, Koopo. Cool. There we go. Closing in on that party level two. Over here. I have to say I'm not the biggest fan of the design of the Moogles in this one. But the Moogle Emporium idea is pretty cool. So, let's continue to head towards the next tower. I will go on foot. I'm not too far away. Get that cash. There's three of them here. Okay. Ah, those are good. Yeah, the exploration continues to, to be fun for me. I'm enjoying this. In terms of a viewing experience, it might be a bit different to what you're used to, honestly. There's going to be more extended periods where I'm just kind of running around, not really progressing story much and just exploring. But 
that's just how the game is designed to be. But hopefully the stuff that we're going to generally be doing quest-wise is going to be entertaining enough that it should be fine. And what, if there's any really extended periods where there's like four or five minutes where I'm kind of just not really commentating, not doing anything, not really getting much, then of course we have the power of it. But don't worry too much. But the game's already given us very clear signs that... Um, doing the exploration is going to be very rewarding so it feels foolish to kind of ignore all of that and well you saw what happened with titan i mean after a stagger and that kind of stuff i'm still like 95 percent of its hp so we definitely have to make sure we get stronger and not just try to ram through the story especially on dynamic difficulty it's not going to be a good idea can we make that this, these are the kind of jumps I'm, I was kind of hoping we'd have some license to make, but there you go. We've got this. There it is. And what? They're always guarded by something as well, which is very reasonable. Okay, wow, that was quick. There you go. Put some pressure on him. Dive kick. Oh man, it's still got the damage as well. That's not fair. Yeah, their ability to hit me with that it seems a bit cheap. And then a dive kick. There you go. We're not going to use the summon and stuff. It's not really needed. Intelligence 8. Seems like there's a lot of trophies for this game. I've already got a bunch and I've not done that much. Sweet. Wow, look at how many world intels there are. That's crazy. I will have another look at this. They, they're giving you the option to climb it, so let's do it. At least there's a fast way back down. Yeah, there seems to be just boxes on all of them, basically. And while you see Moogle medals, six of them, they give you 10 SP points, which is quite a lot. So definitely worth getting those two. Now, I see this tower over here. And this is, for me, is just like, this is just good fundamental exploring mechanics where it's like, you see something like, oh, that looks cool. I'm going to go over there now. And then you get there. You do what you need to do there, and then it's like, oh, okay, I'm going to go to this place now. And it just that's how you start chaining that stuff together. And before you know it, it's been like two hours, and you've just been exploring around, having fun. It's not everybody's style of gameplay, I would admit. But for me, at least, it, it can work very well. I do enjoy games like that, usually. Provided the rest of the stuff is also good. Now, what is this? Ether onion. Yeah, no one's really saying anything here either, so we don't really know what this is. Okay. What does this mean? Summon? Is this a. Uh, oh, it's a summon crystal, yes, okay. That's one of the things I was going to go after. Obviously, we need to get the summons, so we will do that. 
Maybe that thing is one of the ways to get the summon crystals. Hey Cloud, do you notice any sparkling minerals nearby? These are known as guide stones, crystals that direct travelers to shrines to the divine. The stones emit light when they shatter, producing an illuminated path. If ever you're lost, try smashing one. Following the light should lead you to a sanctuary set to honor the tutelary deity of a given region. The shrines contain untold divine knowledge, slumbering within massive crystals. I can use this knowledge to strengthen your summoning materia, so I encourage you to seek out said sanctuaries. Mm, very nice. Okay. Very well. It's been a while since I heard the phrase. The grasslands are home to Titan sanctuaries. In the Age of Myths, when Titan rose from his subterranean prison, he created a massive earthquake. Thus did a vast swath of land rise from the sea, becoming the grasslands. Damn, nice. Good intel, Chadley. Thank you. But... I don't know where the thing went. I assume it's down here somewhere, surely. It has to be. But yeah, I was going to say, it's been a long time since I heard the phrase tutelary deity. It's, uh, last time it's Final Fantasy XV. I'm going to assume it's at the end of this. You can see the grasslands alone, it's, it's huge. But this kind of stuff is very nice. Do we have to fight anything? Sanctuaries contain the crystallized knowledge of summons, which will strengthen your summoning material. The path to a sanctuary is lined with guide stones. Yep. But that's really cool. I have to say. It doesn't seem like there's a fight in here. What does that mean? Examining a summon crystal will reveal its memory matrix. A series of points will appear in order and you must memorize their positions and necessary timing. The points will then disappear and you must make inputs at the correct times to replicate the matrix. If you succeed, you will weaken the summoner's combat trial and strengthen its corresponding material. So it, it goes kind of both ways. It's not just to make the fight easier, you also strengthen the material. Okay. Memory is not my uh, strong suit, but let's see how we do. What am I looking at here? Okay, they're giving you a nice easy one to start. <laughs> I think. Is that close enough? Or how strict are they with this? So bad. I'm sure it's going to get much more difficult, but for now we're good. Alright. Analysis complete. I managed to extract the necessary data from the crystal. This should allow me to strengthen your materia. Yeah, we're going to be hearing from Chadley a lot. But there we go. Cool location, I have to say. So that's that one done. What is this? Phenomenon intel. We're already relatively close to it and it's in the corner, so let's just do that. Yeah, I'm already starting to get into it. It's like, okay, I want to try this, I'm going to try that. I think if it can truly make me feel like I forget about the story and I'm happy to just do this stuff, then I think we're, that it's really on to something. 
Uh, right now, in the still, like in the back of my mind, I'm like, oh man, I kind of want to continue the story. I'm missing out on the story a bit. Is this going to drag on too long? Are people going to get are people going to get bored because it's all like side quest, explorey stuff? I think the truly like the best games are that stuff. They just make you forget about that stuff and you're just completely immersed in your exploration and questing. And what? I think this game has the potential to do that. Cloud, the proto relic should be somewhere in your vicinity. It may not be in plain sight, but I trust you'll be able to find it. Proto relic. Okay. I think I'll dismount, it's probably easier. <laughs> but you can see again here, just like, in general, it's very impressive. But I still think um, the only comment I have so far is that the amount of enemies that are around on these maps, is it's more barren than I thought. I don't know how much more populated it will become later or in different areas and again i have been spoiled by the lights of uh final fantasy 13 chapter 11 which i recently played again on the channel it's just so damn good even just having like a few uh giant sized enemies just kind of roaming around huh hey what's going on I'm gonna heal up a bit first, not take these guys lightly. It's been a while since we ran into these types of guys. Um, actually, he has a weapon upgrade available now. Um, Magic attack plus 20. Yeah, she doesn't have anything else for now. I think I will change teams again. Basically, I'll get everyone proficient in their weapons. That's at least something I can do in the meantime. We'll go for a Barret and Red party here. Reduces damage taken while not actively controlling battle. Yeah, we'll have that. Um, I think I want to give him a fire material, honestly. Well, only Cloud has that one for now. Oh yeah, we do have the morph material. Kind of funny. I forgot about that. Okay. Finally go legit! Gentlemen, today we're founding Max! Other treasures around here. All right, lads. Let's go. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Go her! What the hell are you people doing here? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Worth a shot. I mean, I would too. And it looks like crap. But it's definitely pulsing with a ridiculous <laughs> amount of power. Cool. Once we flip it, we'll be swimming in lakes of gill. Hey, Cloud, isn't that? Oh, hell no! Don't you dare act like you've forgotten Vex badasses! Yeah, you won't sit to our home and beat us to shit! We hadn't even done nothing! You big jerks! Oh, boy. You're responsible for the destruction of our charitable organization! Oh, are we? News to me. <laughs> <laughs> Midgar isn't big enough for us. We're taking our operations worldwide. We've gone legit. We're a business now. Mm, they're a special kind of stupid. <laughs> If Shinra can take over the world with Mako, then all we gotta do is find our own treasures, and then we'll be on top! <laughs> yeah! We're gonna appreciate all the things! Alright, lads. Let's get to it. Hold on! Now you're after our treasure? Well, sucks to be you! We found it! 
Yeah, we're the only ones who can appreciate it. Hand it over. Now. Ha! You really think that's enough to intimidate the likes of... No, please, it's all yours. This one hurt us again. Play dead! Play dead! Oh, 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 oh. We're freaking out! Now listen here, numbnuts. I got a foolproof plan. I call it... Use a decoy! Yeah! Oh. So, who's the decoy? All of you, that's who! Gentlemen, it has been an honor! If you survive, meet back at the hideout! Damn it! Decoys are dead! Oh boy, here we go. Was not expecting to see these lads again. I thought with Punisher mode I wouldn't get interrupted here, but... Yeah, I got pushed into a corner here. Wow. Been a bit unlucky there. Damn, I need to use Stardust Ray. Holy shit. That's a lot. Let's try. There we go. Cloud, my readings indicate the proto relic is on the move. Would you mind updating me on the situation? Bandits beat us to it. Oh, I see. Fortunately, I've already ascertained the proto relic's destination. Would you mind heading there? Sure. Yeah, so we're probably going to have to fight these guys a few times. All the way out there. Okay. <laughs> Poor idiots. Right. Yeah. So dead. That's a chance. Let's get down with that. Um... So we're after more towers. There's one tower here. And then there's two more towers here. I think I'll just do this one. And then I'll probably head to, to Calm to see what quests are on the notice board. And then we'll do some actual side quests. I think um, we've already done a little bit of exploring sesh. So we'll see what happens with that. Hey! 